All right, when you think of roller skating, you likely think of gliding around the rink on four wheels to music and lights. Remember that? Well, who knew there was a whole global competition attached to artistic roller skating with too many categories to name, including dance and figures. So tonight, we are raising the voices of skaters from the Skating Station Roller Rink in Canton. Later this month, they are heading to the World Championships in Italy, which is similar to the Olympics in their sport, so it's a pretty big deal. Solid on the edge. Welcome to the world of artistic roller skating. It's a sport, it's competitive, and it takes hours upon hours of training. You want to get your hip around. Caden Fisher travels to Chicago every weekend to train with his sister. Both are national champions. He competes in figures, dance, team dance, and quartet. It's much like ice skating, but instead on four wheels. You get scored on that, on how well you perform your turns or your lifts. That's incredible. And how long have you been doing this? Uh, nine years now. Dance roller skating has been around since the early 1900s. The first organized national roller skating competition was held in 1938 in Detroit at the Arena Gardens Roller Rink. This month, after training seven days a week, three hours a day, Caden and his sister are heading to Italy to compete in not one, but two world championships. Where will this ultimately take you? I want to place at the world championships, and if roller skating ever gets to the Olympics, I want to make it to the Olympics. And he's not alone. Four of his teammates are going too. Christy Moline started skating in 1997. This is her first season competing in worlds. She's excited to be facing off against skaters from 40 other countries. She is competing in figures. Which is, if you ever go to a roller rink and you see those lines on the floor, the circles, we follow those lines and we do specific edges and specific turns standing on one foot. Figures is the core of roller skating. If you do dance or freestyle in roller skating and you haven't done figures, you're not going to have the same kind of discipline and ability to have muscle control over your entire body. Many ice skaters started in roller skating or vice versa. Famous champion ice skaters who once competed in roller skating include Olympians Brian Boitano and Tara Lipinski. Sinchana Gouda used to be an ice skater. Do you love this more than ice skating now? Yes. Tell me, tell me why. Um, I just, I love the, like, the support I get from all our team members. I just, I love it so much more. Mahira Tandon is back at Michigan State University, but she will be in Italy for the World Championships. Last year, she placed 10th. I'm hoping that I can get it a medal, some type of medal, because it's against the world, right? So it's like every, the best of the best is there. Only 22 U.S. skaters will be competing in the World Figure Cup, and we wish our six local skaters from Skating Station the best of luck. Yes, as we said, only 22 U.S. skaters will be competing in the World Figure Cup, and we wish our six local skaters, five from Skate and Station, the best of luck. And if you want to help them on their journey to Worlds, there is a spaghetti dinner fundraiser on September 8th at the Skate and Station Roller Rink in Canton. And so, of course, they're going to need all our support, so go yes, out there. Yes, they have to pay for everything. Plates. Costumes, skates, their trip down there. Uh, yeah. Yes, That is travel. not cheap. No. So. And you know who's going to be eating a lot of spaghetti? <laughs> Dave Rexroth <laughs> is joining us now. Let's turn to the forecast.